Hello everyone, my name is Fedor and I'm a native speaker of Russian language and as you can see from the name of the video this is gonna be an intro to Russian it's not gonna be a lesson yet but I'm gonna give you some advice or tips which will help you throughout the process of learning Russian so let's get to it the first thing is that we pronounce every single letter in Russian unlike in English or especially French we don't believe in writing the letter and not pronouncing it it may be easier for you to learn it from books or from some app which has all the words written because what you say is what you read. But the difficult thing about Russian letters and sounds is that it's so strong and it's hard to pronounce even for us. We have a lot of Russian natives who have some issues with pronouncing Russian words properly and correctly and if you would listen to some Russian guys talking to each other in Russian, you might think that they're being so rude. Well, they may actually say the cutest thing in the world because, yes, our sounds is not that smooth and soft like in English. Once again, pronounce every single letter. What you read is what you say. The second thing, there is no to be verb and there is no articles in Russian. For example, you are beautiful. In Russian, it would be ты красивая. You means ты, красивая means beautiful. There is no R, so there is no equivalent for R in Russian. It just disappears. No R. Uh, another example. I want an apple. In Russian it would be Я хочу яблоко. Я means I, хочу means want, яблоко means apple. There is no N in this sentence. No N. So, when I was learning English, I couldn't understand why should I use to be verb and why should I use an article before the noun it was just not natural for me so once again we don't have to be verb we don't have articles you just say you cool you right she nice I want apple I want drink or something like that the third one is that the order doesn't really matter so the phrase я люблю тебя means I love you. You can say я люблю тебя, тебя люблю я, люблю я тебя, люблю тебя я, and it won't really matter. It will make sense in any variation. Now compare in English. I love you, love you I, I you love. It doesn't make sense, but in Russian it does. And it only applies of course for short sentences like four or five words. You can just throw or your words in one sentence and it's gonna be my problem if I understand it or not of course we have some order rules but they're not that strict so yeah order doesn't matter and another specific of Russian we have three groups of nouns feminine masculine and middle so I think it's clear about feminine and masculine but what does middle mean it's not the real gender of the noun is just the name of the group of nouns but instead of common two groups of nouns which is feminine and masculine we have three middle feminine and masculine and the last one the last specific of Russian is that we conjugate verbs so for every pronoun there is a separate ending of the word I use an example of the word to watch which is смотреть so we take the first Part of the word which is five letters here smoter and we will add ending to it when we are gonna use pronoun and the verb we're gonna add some ending so it's я смотрю ты смотришь вы смотрите он смотрит она смотрит оно смотрит они смотрят so as you can see, five letters of the verb is the same. We just change the ending of it. And that's it for today. As we go in my future videos, it's gonna be more detailed and I'm gonna dig deeper in most of the points I mentioned today. And I hope you liked this video. And if you did, hit that like button below. And if you think I can improve on something, leave it in the comments so I can make better quality of lessons for you guys. And thanks you all for watching. I'll see you next time.